Should we just transition to do like we started as audio and and then we went, you know, audio and video. We could just transition to video. Like just like no audio at all, just the just three faces. <laughs> at this point I'm I'm willing to go epistolary. I think we should send each other a letter. Ooh, we send each other long letters. Uh-huh. And then <laughs> we, we respond could... two weeks later. It's like playing chess by mail. Yeah, but for talking. I guess that's letters. <laughs> <laughs> you know you know how people play chess by mail? Yeah. Uh, some people just send uh, messages to each other and have a conversation over time through the mail. It's can like we, chess by we, mail. Can we, can we make a, like a, cl- a, club, a clubhouse? Clubhouse clone. Mm-hmm. Except it's with letters. Oh. So you can learn about you can learn about uh, blockchain. Sure, sure, and in yeah, depth yeah. too because you're you're writing it. Those those books that came out in there were a couple of there was a, a, a micro trend of of epistolary graphic books that came out in the eighties. Do you remember like Griffin and Sabine? Sabine I remember that yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, where the book had the envelopes like as if they were actual letters and you'd turn the page and there'd be the envelope you'd open the envelope and the letter would come out i just remember i didn't care what those books were about or how good the writing was just the the coolness of feeling like you're actually turning the page and opening up another letter written by a person was was just felt it just felt like it was it was a gimmick that totally got me <laughs> dear penthouse <laughs> You look nice today. California King. Maybe that's one of the ways that uh, pornographic magazines could have really doubled down on their their paper nature would have been to to include some like literal within the pages of each magazine, you know, just glue like actual letters that had been written to penthouse you know it, as part of the reading experience so you turn the page and then you you unseal the, maybe penthouse didn't even open it maybe it was just mail that came to penthouse <laughs> they just start you just start putting some of the mail you got in the magazine i i agree scott magazines are not doing great right now and like the, f- the physicality you mentioned this on your on your internet the other day well, sure yeah you said something along the lines that I, you, you had basically said that you can feel <laughs> the unhealthiness in a magazine, and it's a certain point where you pick it up, and it's so slender. I, yeah. I remember Industry Standard. Do you remember the Industry Standard? It was, no, it was I, basically I, John yeah. Battelle's Let's Make Money Off the Internet magazine in the late 90s, and at one point by like 2000, it was this thick, and 2001, oh, oh my it was God. like this thick. <laughs> but uh. like, how do you bring back the physicality, the interest in... What can only be physical is the question. Like you're right. going to sign up for Slater Salon, but what do you get? You get the, the flyouts to subscribe, scratch yep. and sniff perfumes. Right. Adam, are there other kinds of things that we could put into a magazine that would make it more appealing to somebody that you just you can't go get online? It feels like um, for a while at least it was other magazines inside that magazine. Um, oh, not, yeah. Not, not, it was like promotional magazines. I, I can't think of a single example, maybe something in – in like the O, the O family of magazines, or just you know home and garden kind of stuff, or highlights for kids. Yeah. Feels like there's a lot of uh, in in magazine and magazine type of work in in that format, but I can't really. It's kind of like when you stop doing your podcast and the feed stays up, and then all you do is just keep blowing in all these promos for other podcasts. It's like that, right. but right. it's like it's yeah. like magazines all the way down. Right. I think people would enjoy that. I. I I mean, are there other kinds of things? There could be coins, I guess. Well, it's very um, sad. It's very sad when, and I've experienced, we've all experienced this. I'm a, I mean, I still subscribe to probably 20 magazines. And so I, I, I can feel it when, when they start to die. Uh, it was particularly sad when uh, my son's subscription to Mad Magazine started to have that feeling. And oh. the, the entreaties to, to resubscribe became more and more desperate. And the, the, the magazine itself became thinner and thinner and more and more full of archived content and not new stuff, uh, which is great because, you know, my son got to learn a lot about the Nixon administration. (laughs) (laughs) This Nixon guy. The the lighter side of uh, the the oil crisis. That's right. (laughs) Gary Hart. Spy versus Patty Hearst. (laughs) 
<laughs> but you also don't you get the Al Jaffe fold over? Did they start making oh, yeah. RIP yeah. a real one? But the fold yeah. over that could really attract people. Yeah, that's a, like oh, you know, books. yeah, that's a great point. And and one of the things that the magazine industry never seemed to really do was take great ideas and 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 and, and push them off into into different types of of magazines. So like the fold over, which was so popular and mad, how did that how did that never make it to Better Homes and Gardens, where or or, uh, or Hustler, or, or <laughs> Hustler would be, I hope Hustler yeah. would be more of a fold out. I guess you start it with yeah. it folded. We could do that. It's a little extra paper, also, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. You don't want to fold that one wrong either. It just doesn't have the same effect. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of other clever things. I mean, there's a famous example of the, uh, which I, I'm sure Merlin, maybe Adam, you, you guys know more about this than I do, uh, the Q-Cat. That was the, uh, the, the, the Merlin, you can, I'm sure you can describe it better. I think it was, I, I, I don't know if it was Radio Shack, but if it wasn't, it should have been. And it was a device that, uh, it, it looked kind of like a mouse, but like combined with something that your aunt would collect that she buys on trips. And it was the early version of what we now think of like as a QR code scanner. So you could say, oh, how do we bring the internet or whatever into the physical yeah. world? All you got to do is take your QCAT, because people love having stuff on their desk, and then yeah, you right. scan that, and then that takes you to the internet. Do, I didn't see. Didn't look a little bit like musical notation, or so didn't the codes look like uh, a, a key signature or something? Am I misremembering it? I do remember there's a cat. That's all. That's all I remember. I, I, I think that's interesting. I wonder if we want to go the other mm. way. How do we, first of all, A, how do we take somebody from the internet into a physical magazine yeah. without running, you know, you know, Cat 6A? But, but also there's a lot we could take from you guys. You guys have known children. What can we take that we've learned? We know the caterpillar is very hungry or whatever. And that's kind of fun. Like this was kind of pop through books or something where you put, again, Hustler, something where you put your finger in and then you say, I'm the hungry hippo or whatever. I don't know. Who's the hungry hippo now? Who's the hungry hippo Pamela? now? <laughs> right? But I mean, that's kind of fun. Or like they make those fancy, like I don't know if you guys have ever seen these, but there's this one particular guy that makes these insane books uh, that are way beyond pop-up books they're almost like origami and like every page if you've uh, seen right. these there's yeah. one guy and he like does this for star wars or whatever and you open it up and like oh it's luke's lightsaber and it's got an led i mean it could be like that if we take for a moment that it's not going to be cost prohibitive to put leds and letters into magazines right what what do we bring to the table and say hey you know atlantic hakuna matata you know enjoy another hundred years <sighs> Batteries. You could get. Oh, you know what? Amazon. So Amazon could maybe pick this up. They they bought the Washington Post. Maybe they could also have like very small groceries or something that they deliver inside the magazine as a bespoke magazine. <laughs> Zappos. I mean, yeah. I I I think that um, you know one of the one of one of the focuses if you're trying to rejuvenate the the magazine industry is what can a paper magazine or a magazine made out of another substance do that the internet can't, that digital media can't do. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe, maybe you do have a, maybe it comes with a tiny can of tuna because the internet can't deliver, you know, through, through a cable, you can't get, you know, uh, farm caught hunks of fish. Right. Right. You know, well, we talk we, we talk a lot because it's a growing uh, for us. It's been a huge revenue opportunity is these subscription box services. What if yeah. we take that and turn that? And it, it is a bespoke magazine. I'm not saying it's like hand lettered by a monk or something, although that's right. something we could explore. Um, some Knights Templar. But but the point being, you maybe you get a custom magazine. You know, people love coupons. There could be all kinds of ways. Again, for a minute, I, I just would like to keep this in the blue sky. Just this mm -hmm. idea of like if you really if you got some kind of a whale on this and you could turn what we think of as a quote unquote magazine into mm -hmm. something that people are going to look forward to finding in their box. I don't think it's going to be maybe it's very flat tuna. Maybe it's more like a maybe like an anchovy or something, but but something that's, that's appropriate for you, oh. that you can fold or put your finger through. Yeah, or, <laughs> or, or 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 yeah, you could you could caterpillar the heck out of a, a hunk of tuna. Inside get, an in get, style. Get a tuna hole, and then uh, the caterpillar is not hungry. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, pop up well, books. you know, one of the things that people often use magazines and newspapers for after the fact, once they've been read and and uh, are, are no longer needed for that purpose, they'll 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 wrap up a fish. So you know, there's already precedent in you know you 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 throw an anchovy uh-huh. in, into you know I'm sure they have fancy especially adhesive. if it's a hustler. Am I right? I I think they're appropriate across all kinds of lifestyle contexts, mm-hmm. um, but. Well, you know, there's a magazine a long time ago that I, I liked for lots of reasons, and it was called Lucky. And there was mm-hmm. an applied colon, Lucky, the magazine about shopping. And oh. one thing that was nice with Lucky is they would give you a sheet of stickers in it so you could go through and say, nah, yeah, maybe. Oh, that's like, cool. like, yeah, for this pair of pumps or whatever. And I know people oh. love stickers. So oh, I, I see. So, uh, Scott, if I understand what you're saying, there's a few angles here. Obviously, there's the revenue opportunities of the spawn con, as we like to call it, sure. that would be in there. Maybe you sponsor a shoe sticker or whatever. But you're also saying we want to get different materials. Does it have to be paper if we're in the blue sky? But yeah. then, then also these, uh, also these sort of opportunities for uh, you, you bring in the real world. I, there's a lot there. There's a lot of meat on that bone. And maybe, maybe we bring you meat. I mean, you know, non, on, non like a literal meat on, on the bone. That's yeah, or we print the magazine on a steak. I, I haven't really thought about it. Or a shoe, like Zappos. Zapp- hey, welcome to Zappos Magazine. It's the magazine about Zappos. Well, what you, you had know. what you had mentioned, uh, Merlin, about you know things being we don't we want to avoid stuff that's cost prohibitive. And one of the things that that often um, increases cost in these kinds of things is is labor. You know, you don't how how much can you get away with with paying a person to to put um you know what had been a tinned anchovy on to, into page 35 of a fashion magazine in in this country especially and, if it's perforated that's going to be costly uh, yeah. you you mentioned monks and i don't i think that there very well might be something there because i think a lot of the businesses that 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 the, the cloistered among us have been involved in are 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 disappearing like i I, I, there was a medicine that I used to take that was, that was, uh, it was, it used to be, um, f- this is true, but I, I, this is true, but I, I, I don't really remember the process, but, but they took the urine of Italian nuns and they extracted, uh, like the hormone that they need, that they needed from, hmm. from, from this Italian Nun P to make is that the, that's the QAnon thing, right? No, no, no. This is absolutely true. This is this is a real thing. They've I'm already not... milked all the kids for adrenochrome, and now they can they come <laughs> yeah, for the nuns. Guys, I don't you have gotta, time you for nonsense. You got to juice a nun. You ever try to juice a nun? <laughs> <laughs> They're so um, dry. There, there's like there's a hormone that they, <laughs> they, no an artificial boss. hormone that used to be <laughs> produced that way. It was it was that's how they that that was that provided the base layer. I don't know if it was a, a, a smell thing or what, but that was the base layer of this, of this drug, and and they no longer need those nuns. That that uh, mm-hmm. drug or or whatever it is is now uh, produced sans nun. That <laughs> said, synthetic nun pee. So it, it, now it's synthetic nun pee. It used to be, you know, <laughs> nun derived. It used to be. Ask your doctor if nun or not is right for you. <laughs> Oh, that's so interesting. And here's the thing. Those nuns, you know, who used to pay f- for the roof over their heads <laughs> with, you know, the second oldest, with, pr- pr- I don't know. Their micturations. <laughs> yeah, they got nothing the, to do now. They got nothing to do. Before, where the, where the you know, where the P was, the P was the money. They're not, they're not making money doing that anymore. They're just throwing it away. They're just... <laughs> they're just <laughs> That sounds, away. Uh, uh, Scott. That sounds almost sinful. I, That's I, like I, the I sin agree. of Onan, like like dressed like a penguin. That's just sad. <laughs> that could be helping yeah. people. That's right, and and this is yeah. absolutely that's absolutely a tr- that's a fact. That's a true. Does thing. it have to be P? I mean, because like the thing about a monk or a nun, I don't right. know a ton about this. You know this from your religious studies, but like right. I'm pretty sure they have to do what you tell them to do. Not me. I mean, right. unless, well, I don't know. Maybe I could, maybe I could take some Phoenix online courses to become a head priest. But, but like, um, you tell them this is what you're going to do. We're, by the way, we're going to juice you 
for your for your vital fluids at this point because we're going to save the magazine industry. And they say my English not so good. Yeah. How's that? <laughs> maybe that's how they maybe that's how they got him to sign the contract. There was just uh-huh. a lot of kind of just gesticulation and uh, poorly translated. <laughs> it's just written in like you know in English, but like as if. Chico Marx were saying it. <laughs> He's a thing you gotta do for me. You gotta go. You gotta drink a lot of water, boss. <laughs> Peanuts to you. I, I think, I, I think, that, I think, I think it's that, a tremendous idea. I mean, I mean well, there, we could always pivot to just figuring out how to yoke various members of religious orders. The Trappists yeah. love making beer. I, it makes me beer. feel heavy if I drink a lot of beer, but Very I love heavy. magazines. Yeasty. It's a yeasty. That's a yeasty vocation. What about uh, what do you know? You know what I see in a lot of magazines because I subscribe to because I'm a liberal cuck. Like I get we get the New Yorker, we get the Atlantic, we mm-hmm. get we get a bunch of magazines like that. You know what I see is a lot of pharmaceutical <laughs> ads. You know it's and if you're watching cable news, you know they're just chock a block wall to wall with these kinds of things. But what if you I say forced, but I mean encouraged a, a monk or a nun to be able to just glue little pills onto the ads. And we just say, you know, uh, uh, la, la, what do you say? How would that be in Italian? It would be uh, la primera esta, you know, uh, no money, dinero. And, and yeah. so you try that, and then maybe then, then you go to your doctor and you say, I've been eating, eating this stuff out of magazines for a while, and I think it's working. <laughs> yeah. Could you check my blood pressure or whatever? Right, right, right. Ask your doctor if what you've been taking <laughs> from within the pages of Cosmo for the last six months really had been right for you. <laughs> it's a little long. She so put it into the past, the question. Yes. Should I have yes. been doing this? <laughs> has this has this been right for me? And then you make a cross mm. because you're so full of pee. What you were saying that was more telling to me about about what you just uh talked discussed was was how you 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 prefaced your magazine choices with a bit of uh shame. And yeah. of course, I've noticed this when you know when when ostensibly tough guys are are talking about something that that it turns out they learn from the pages of Us Weekly. They're often they're often like, yeah, I was you know I was working on the car and I I had to wipe the grease off my cock and I reached for whatever's close by, and and oh, it was in Us Weekly and oh, did you see the thing about Harry and Meghan? It's like the tough guy preamble. <laughs> To say that you have have read, uh, a, you I, I know. went to see my doctor because I'm, I'm having a very long cock right. reduction surgery, <laughs> right. and I needed yeah. to go hunting afterward. Yeah, and yeah. so and so I picked up Family Circle and found a really yummy looking recipe for risotto. That that, and then I wiped off my cock. Life's, <laughs> lifestyle shame just that comes with yes. with with. So you know, maybe one of the things we do to encourage people to to delve into those things for otherwise which they would feel shame is you know maybe every single magazine in america much like tobacco in australia it instead of having a cover you know maybe it just has an you know an italian nun on the Mm -hmm. cover okay and and there's no you know so you don't know when when somebody's reading it on the subway it's just a you know it's just it's a it's just like a little pieta instead of Mm -hmm you know, um, uh, an Atlantic Monthly or a, an Us Weekly or something for otherwise which you would feel shame. Just an idea. The magazine is called None Your Business. <laughs> and it's, and she's I can sassy. Find, I, can find, I can finally retire. She's sassy. <laughs> she's a sassy. She's, I mean, nuns are not. Her, you can tell she likes, if she liked it and she can't, but like you can tell like she's willing to pee a little bit. Which is oh, yeah. cool, but it's also you're saying this is like one of those things in like uh, in like uh, <clears throat> where somebody puts a, a, a book in front of another book, oh, so you yeah, can't it's a book, see what it's, they're reading. Yeah, and, but also you know what I love? We've talked about this before, and I really think we need to come back to this eventually. Is you know things for insecure men who think that that what they want is not for men, and, right, and so like right. you know oh, it's a ruggedized baby carrier. Like what right. if we ruggedized more magazines so that men would wipe their cock with it while they're going hunting or or, or similar, but it could be a nun, right? Re- without respect, yeah. If we could make like Entertainment Weekly out of mud flaps, that that could totally you, yes. May, maybe you're actually reading Teen Vogue, but uh, Donald Trump Jr. is on the cover having killed something precious, hmm. and you can you, know, you feel good in, or, or a nun. A nun is good, you know. Everybody loves Italy. Adam, um, do you subscribe? Do you currently subscribe to magazines? 
I we I we still get Wired magazine because I can't mm-hmm. figure out how to make it stop. <laughs> yeah, I don't that's even know. a yeah. Is there an email or something? Um, but my uh, and I prefer. I think I haven't I haven't read a physical magazine in many years. But I prefer. Here's what I don't prefer about mm-hmm. e magazines is I have no idea how they're organized or how to uh, navigate them or go like look like read a table of like an index of the articles and then. Uh, and then find one that I might be interested, which is the, 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 the that is the traditional way of interacting with a magazine is you just kind of open it from the front cover and you sort of skim yeah. through and you find something with pictures that you might enjoy. Yep. Uh, yep. And, and, and I, f- I feel, and this is like a half not silly idea. If there hmm. were a way that I could have the, the Apple news stand magazine on my phone and mm-hmm. a physical magazine uh, in front of me and then, uh, basically use some sort of an AR to find an article that, you know, in the physical magazine that I would then want to take with me to the toilet and read on my oh, phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Thanks you know, okay, okay. This is potentially the beginning of a brilliant thing. That That's a great idea. Um, you know, toilet stuff aside, because that uh, that uh, that alone is, is a huge market for this. Uh, but when you say, you know, using using a an AR experience to find an article that you're looking for in a magazine. Let's eliminate the middleman. Let's use everybody gets, everybody receives a blank magazine, a 200 page white magazine delivered to their door. No cover, no shame because there's nothing on the cover. However, via the magic of AR, you point your phone at the magazine and whatever you know, content you subscribe to, like whether it's the New Yorker or, um, or, you know, uh, hunting, a hunting magazine. <laughs> I can't even name <laughs> <a> t- <laughs> hunting, <laughs> hunting, hunting, hunting Hunt, man, women's, hunting women's, yeah. <laughs> hunters index, hunt, <laughs> uh, <laughs> hunters quarterly, ga- ga- the guns man. report. <laughs> 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 shot through uh, you know so you 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 subscribe to the guns report but your your partner subscribes to uh, a, a, a home magazine you you can both point your phone at that 200 blank pages and on your phone you can read your magazine it's a growler for content you refill it <laughs> But That's then, right. like, uh, like, uh, like, do- the- like the doctor's psychic paper, whatever you would like to be on the cover might be what shows up on other people's AR when you're on public transit going to hunting. Yeah. Oh, that's absolutely the case. I mean, oh my God, it's it's endless. Do you just buy one magazine though? Does that hurt us from a revenue standpoint? It may. If it you, may you buy, because you buy the cow, you get you the milk pay for, for free. The content. That's the whole business pay, model. And I don't want yeah. to point out, but I will that Tom Hanks invented this in the movie Big. In uh, about 1989. <laughs> uh, wait, what do you mean? Wait, wait, what do you mean? Trampoline, trampoline? Yeah, what? he he came up with the idea of a blank comic book that would fill with whatever comic books you want to read. That oh, really? I, that guy's got enough dough. I don't want to step on his dick. I bet yeah. he's extremely litigious. God damn it. Yeah. Jeez. He's always he's fucking up everything. But there's a oh the other thing is you know here's the th- okay all right all right all right all right. So I don't know if you know this. This is a true fact that. Have you have you ever noticed that when you pick up a magazine, let's say you buy the September Vogue, which my cover you know, has Eric Trump, you know, having gum surgery. I don't know, but the um, but the my so you get the you get the September issue of Vogue, which they even made a movie about, and it's like the fattest magazine right. you oh, ever right. did that's see. Oh right, that's the famous one, right? Now, Adam, have you ever noticed? Did you ever notice when you flip through a magazine, it seems a little bit inorganic? You ever notice you, we, as you flip? It's almost like Marshall Brodeen's mm. cut up set of cars. You somehow you always land on an ad. Did you ever notice mm. that? Oh. Well, that's because the pages that have ads have a. This is not a conspiracy theory. This sounds like <laughs> QAnon. Do you ever do you ever notice? Uh, <laughs> do you ever notice uh, that you know uh, the, the a lot of Jews? But yeah. the um the, the, the they have a cut an, an infinitesimal cut on the pages that have ads. And so when you're oh. flipping through and you stop, you'll almost always land on an ad. God, I hope that's what? true. I'm pretty sure that's true. But there's Sounds no reason true. we can't do that with AR, too. Oh. Hmm. Well, I mean, I, I, guess we should, I guess we should acknowledge that, that uh, computers can't necessarily solve all of our problems. And in well, this case, I, don't I mean, know. in this case, what, what, what we're trying to do is we're trying to, A, 
get some unemployed nuns back into the workforce. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and Scott, is it fair to say we wouldn't mind having a lot of pills inside the things we read just to try? Or maybe it's a lickable. You know, maybe it's something Hell where yeah. you get you, you get to try out. So, like, you're one of those folks who, like, you're worrying about what's happening down in the basement, if you know what I mean. Sure, you know, in, and, in your butthole. Like, or hair sure. solutions for men. Like, that kind of stuff. Maybe, uh, you just you lick, <laughs> you lick Donald Trump Jr., and maybe then you can take that to your doctor and say, was licking Donald right for me? But, like, there becomes, like, because there's a lot of money going around. You got liquor. Maybe, maybe. Maybe uh, it's it smells like Jack Daniels or something. They 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 have a lot of commercials, mm-hmm. but interactive. Bring in the world. That's a great point. There there's been very f- hmm. little fragrance work done outside of the fragrance industry. Or so you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I no, do I remember totally agree. a scratch and sniff porno mag when I was a kid though. That was yeah. It got passed around to the point that it was. It did not Scratched. resemble the sniffs that that <laughs> it originally until it had no scratch <laughs> left. <laughs> did, Adam, Adam, do you remember what some of the smells were? No, I think it was oh. all just like you know. Uh, you, you remember passing around the Malort at Max FunCon? That kind of like everybody yeah. takes a sniff right. and and right. and wants to barf, and that's the joke. I think that's what it was. Right. And my gang of friends is that you scratch it, and it smells like. Uh, what you might imagine genitalia to smell like if you're nine years old and you've never. I get, oh, but you could also tape. Before. You could also tape in a nine volt battery, uh, so so you get a feeling for what it's like to you know <laughs> um, go downtown. Truth or dare? What about magazine? a little dropper? What about a magazine that comes with a little dropper of nun of uh, Italian nun urine? And in order to, there are certain articles that you have to actually drop the urine on the article in order to reveal the text like invisible ink in invisible, but then you make yeah. it a journey maybe you get some kind of virtual coins or something because you've, you've you've disseminated so much none uh, all over all the pieces by I'm, I'm assuming david brooks <laughs> but but like but all the ways that you would go through and a truly truly prayerful man would have words that only appear you know when they've gotten the benediction of uh, sister susan if you that's what we call it. we call it a benediction that's a benediction when you use when you use your dropper on the james brooks article james brooks that's the guy from the simpsons david brooks would be the guy that you put the pee on very young wife and the great thing about that business too is it it it, it just we can just turn the existing milking machines back on infrastructure what if we wise just get, you know the thing is how about this okay here's the problem adam i know you don't read a lot of magazines now mm-hmm. but no matter what magazines you get what like i'll just speak for myself when i went so back in the day there were some magazines it was kind of like difficult or costly to get so i would go to the bookstore and buy a copy of spy i would buy a copy right. of might which was my favorite magazine at the yep. time sure uh, grand royal well i love grand royal all of those but like as soon as i would subscribe to harper's i've subscribed to harper's probably four times in my life and as soon as I, again it's the milk and the cow problem all over again now that it arrives in my house zero interest they mm-hmm. pile up mm-hmm. new yorker probably has new yorker cartoons about new yorker mm-hmm. piling up so is it fair to say there's probably a lot of magazines out there what i'm gonna call legacy <laughs> legacy magazines you could call them old copies but like, what if we didn't need to print anything and we just put pills into those with the help of the nuns? And you can strap you can strap a battery or or an eyedropper to any of that CBD oil. People love CBD oil. You get you could say you could have a nun put that in there. It's true that the highest cost of producing uh, a magazine are the articles. Um, right. So yeah. The printing of them. <laughs> <laughs> We've already got the articles. The they're already in the magazine. They're already they're done. <laughs> the magazines are done. They just got to get to people who want them, out of the basements of people who don't. And all the people who used to illuminate manuscripts, we now put the, we got to put them to work. So now they're sitting there with some whiteout, and they're just changing the. <laughs> <laughs> You're just changing the dates on the articles. You say that's not go. It's look at this industry standard from uh, since from April of. 2021 and boy it looks like <laughs> pest.com is really blowing up for 2022 you do that and then you put some nun pee on that or a battery you ever do that you ever look at nine volt it's a like college all over again <laughs> this has been you look nice today can I find a king thank you Fog, la 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 la. We swell, we juice some nuns, 
And we peed some brooks. We're saving magazines and books. I got a fresh nun. That's a true. That's true. The, the, one of the one of the hormones that I took. <laughs> Don't make it a habit. <laughs> Fuck me. Use every bit of that, Adam. Don't edit anything and stop ducking the part where I'm talking. Leave it all in. Stop ducking. And finally. <laughs> I like to get a little bit of juice from the knock. What's that knock? That's my knock. Get that knock and squeeze them out. Put in an eye drop for your friends. Yes, sir. But we open season. Any fool can eat his stool or any species can eat his feces. Let's never cate. That's a no good, boss. <laughs>